Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amish Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve questions from 22 to 30 of chapter 5 from the book Contemporary Abstract Algebra by Joseph Galen. So without a delay, let's start. Question number 22. If alpha and beta are distinct two cycles, what are the possibility for the order of alpha beta? Given alpha and beta are distinct two cycles, if alpha and beta are disjoint two cycles, then order of alpha beta is LCM of 2 comma 2 which is equal to 2. If alpha and beta have exactly one symbol in common, that is alpha is AB and beta is AC, then alpha and 2 beta is product of the permutation AB with product of permutation AC. Here A has image C, here C has image C, means A has image C. Now C has image A, here A has image B, means C has image B. Here B has image B and B has image A means B has image A. The product of these two permutation is permutation ACB. This implies order of alpha beta is 3. Hence the possibility for order of alpha beta is either 2 or 3. Question number 23. Show that if H is a subgroup of SN then either every member of H is an even permutation or exactly half of the members are even. Given H is a subgroup of SN if all the members of H are even, then result is true. Suppose that H has at least one odd permutation, say alpha, implies for each odd permutation beta in H, we have alpha beta is even because product of two odd permutation is even. This implies corresponding to each odd permutation beta in H, there exists an even permutation alpha beta in H. Thus, there are at least as many as even permutation are there are odd ones. Similarly, for each even permutation beta in H, we have alpha beta is odd because product of odd and even permutation is odd. This implies corresponding to each even permutation beta in H, there exists an odd permutation alpha beta in H. Thus, there are at least as many as odd permutation as there are even ones. Therefore, every member of H is an even permutation or exactly half of the members are even. Question number 24. Suppose that H is a subgroup of Sn of odd order, prove that H is a subgroup of An given H is a subgroup of Sn such that order of H is odd. Now either every element of H is even or half are even and half are odd. Why it is so? For more details see question number 23. If half of the element of H are even or half of are odd, this implies order of H is even because half member are even, half member are odd. If we count the member, it will be the multiple of 2 which is an even, which is contradiction as given because order of H is odd. Therefore, H contain all even members. This implies H is contained in AN because AN is a alternating group which is a group of all even permutation. Since H is a subgroup, this implies H is group and H is contained in AN. This implies H is a subgroup of AN. Question number 25. Give two reasons why the set of odd permutation in Sn is not a subgroup. Let H be the set of all odd permutation in Sn. Reason number one, since I does not belong to H, here I is identity, why it is so? Because I is an even permutation. This implies identity does not contain in H. Reason number two, let alpha, comma, beta belongs to H, both are odd permutation. This implies product of alpha beta which is an even permutation does not belong to H because H is a set of odd permutation that is H is not closed. Question number 26. If alpha and beta belongs to Sn, prove that alpha inverse beta inverse alpha beta is an even permutation. If alpha can be written as product of M2 cycles and beta can be written as product of N2 cycles, this implies alpha inverse and beta inverse can also be written as product of M2 cycles and N2 cycle respectively. Why it is so? For more details, see question number 16 from the previous video. Now alpha inverse, beta inverse, alpha beta can be written as product of N plus M plus N plus M which is 2 into M plus N2 cycle which is even in number. Hence alpha inverse, beta inverse, alpha beta is an even permutation. Question number 27. Use table 5.1 to compute the following. Part A, the centralizer of alpha 3 which is product of 1, 3, 2, 4. Part B, the centralizer of alpha 1, 2 which is 1, 2, 4. The following result is very essential to learn in order to solve the question. Result, let G be a group and A belongs to G. Then centralizer of element A is denoted by C of A 
and is defined as C of A contain those element of group G such that X A equal to X means it contains those element of the group which commute with the element A. Now this is the table 5.1 which is given in the book. Part A we have to find the centralizer of alpha 3 which is 1 3 2 4 means we have to choose those element which is commute with alpha 3. From the table it can be easily seen that when we product alpha 1 with alpha 3 it is 3 and alpha 3 with alpha 1 is it also 3 means alpha 3 is commute with alpha 1. Similarly alpha 2 product with alpha 1 gives 2 and alpha 1 product with alpha 2 gives 2 means alpha 2 is also commute with the alpha 3 and every element is commute with itself means alpha 3 commute with alpha 3 and if we product alpha 4 with alpha 3 it gives 2 and alpha 3 with alpha 4 it will give 2 means alpha 4 is also commute with alpha 3 this implies centralizer of alpha 3 containing the element alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and alpha 4 part b we have to find the centralizer of alpha 1 2 which is 1 2 4 it contains the element alpha 1 alpha 7 and alpha 12 why it is so because if we take the product of alpha 1 2 with alpha 1 it will give 12 and alpha 1 with alpha 1 12 it will give 12 means it is commute with the alpha 1 similarly alpha 7 with alpha 12 will give 1 and alpha 12 with alpha 7 it will give 1 means alpha 7 commute with the alpha 12 and alpha 12 is commute with the alpha 12 question number 28 how many elements of order 5 are in s7 it is essential to learn the following result in order to solve the question result the number of element of order d in sn is summation n factorial divided by 1 to the power alpha 1 2 to the power alpha 2 up to k to the power alpha k into alpha 1 factorial alpha 2 factorial up to alpha k factorial where d is lcm of 1 2 up to k and alpha is the number of i's in the selected partition now for this question first we have to make the partition of 7 that following table shows the partition of 7 and elements order first partition is 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to 7 times and lcm of these element is 1 now next partition is 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and lcm of these elements is 2 similarly we can find the other partitions now this partition of 7 is 5 plus 1 plus 1 and lcm of this element is 5 means s7 contain the element of order 5 now the number of element of order 5 in s7 are factorial 7 divided by 5 into 1 square into 2 factorial because the 5 cycle is presented one time and one cycle is presented two time this is the 504 element this implies the number of element of order 5 in s7 is 504 question number 29 how many element of order 4 does S6 have? How many element of order 2 does S6 have? First we have to find the partition of 6. The following table shows the partition, element order and number of element. The partition 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and LCM of these element is 2 means this gives the number of element of order 2 which is equal to factorial 6 divided by 2 into 1 to the power 4 into 4 factorial because 2 cycle is presented 1 time and 1 cycle is presented 4 time this is equal to 15 the partition 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 and LCM of these element is 2 means this is also give the number of element of order 2 which is equal to factorial 6 divided by 2 square into 1 square into factorial 2 into factorial 2 because 2 cycle presented 2 time and 1 cycle is also presented 2 time and it is equal to 15 the partition 2 plus 2 plus 2 and LCM of these element is 2 means this is also given the number of element of order 2 which is equal to factorial 6 divided by 2 cube into factorial 3 because 2 cycle is presented 3 times which is equal to 15. Similarly the partition 4 plus 1 plus 1 and LCM of these element are 4 means this gives the number of element of order 4 which is equal to factorial 6 divided by 4 into 1 to the power 2 into 2 factorial because 4 cycle is presented 1 time and 1 cycle is presented 2 times this is equal to 19 the partition 4 plus 2 and LCM of 4 comma 2 is 4 which is equal to factorial 6 divided by 4 into 2 because 4 cycle presented 1 time and 2 cycle is presented 1 time this is equal to 90 part A the number of element of order 4 in S6 is 90 plus 90 which is equal to 180 Part B, the number of element of order 2 in S6 is 15 plus 45 plus 15 which is equal to 75. Question number 30, prove that the permutation 1, 2, 3, 4 is not the product of 3 cycles. 
any product of three cycles is even whereas permutation 1 2 3 4 it is an even cycle length is an odd permutation therefore 1 2 3 4 is not the product of three cycles thank you very much for watching my video if you like the content please do like share and subscribe my channel if you have any query comment me thank you very much